Right now, it is time to bring in Ruth Epstein from the Republican American who covers our area, and she joins us every Monday morning, just about every Monday morning. Good morning, Ruth. Hi, Marshall. Good morning, Joe. I would say every Monday morning. Yeah, pretty well, close. Just, yeah, yeah. just maybe two or three a year, two, two or three mornings a year. Yeah, they give me off once in a while. <laughs> That's right. We used to give Dave Teeter off with pay. That's right. <laughs> no, we would double his pay. That's right. That's yeah. Right. <laughs> Yeah, I expect it too. Yeah, yeah he right. made a big point of that. Mm-hmm. Uh, so Good what? A, what a weekend we had! I can oh, tell you. Oh man, I just took my roller skates off for the day until I start out again tomorrow. But I, I have was. to. I have to apologize to anybody who is a Robin Hood radio listener or a Bargain Barn listener. Uh, I sent Maddie and Liz out to Lime Rock to the uh, to that opening celebration, and uh, when they took the tent, I I saw it on my table. They didn't take the stakes or the or the weights, and I <laughs> saw it on my table, and I said, "Oh, ah, they're not going to need it." Well, it, they set up everything. It was beautiful. A gust of wind. They tried to catch the tent. The tent broke into like five pieces. Oh no! And then all the racks they had set up for the bargain barn were blown all around and everything. So we had a, a disaster at Lime Rock, but. There was between the parking for our trade secrets and the people that were at Lime Rock. It was a very busy day there, and we're going to do it again next year with stakes and weights, <laughs> like like it should be. But folks who were expecting us there with it was my, my fault. I saw it sitting on well, my they desk. They were there. I, folks I know, who were I, expecting them there, they were there. They were yeah, there. It just didn't look. It just didn't look the way we expected. Right. So, it so it's my. It's my. It's on me. It's on me. I should have. Okay. I definitely should have. Well, it was set up the a mob scene. <laughs> <laughs> It was incredible. Of course, it's a beautiful spot, so you know it was nice to uh, stroll around. But it was between, as you say, the parking for trade secrets and uh, the open house and and the racing. It was uh, the, it was crowded, but it was crowded everywhere this Saturday and Sunday. It was incredible. I was on the move um, all uh, beginning to end that, that evening, um, starting with a plant sale at the. Hunt Library over to the Artisans Fair uh, on the White Hart Green, uh, over to, well, Lime Rock, uh, Artisans Fair. Uh, we were uh, at the kayak practice on the lake, on the river in Cornwall, and, and then back to Cornwall Saturday night for the library's 150th anniversary kickoff. So I'm taking my roller skates off today for. <laughs> I know it was, it was crazy, and I'll tell you. And I give the DM Hunt Library people because uh, that that sale goes on uh, both uh, Saturday, Saturday and Sunday. Sunday. Yeah. Uh, and I heard from I heard from different businesses, and I won't mention which ones, but they all. Well, I'll just tell you they were involved in selling plants and stuff like that. That their business did spike uh, with people uh, mm. uh, the, uh, from from trade secrets. Mm-hmm. Uh, the, their business did spike. Uh, Good. And and. Good. And, and the Artisans Fair, which donated uh, 25 or 20 percent, 20 to 25 percent mm, of the proceeds Lloyd, to right? the Jane Lloyd Fund, was set up beautifully on the lawn of the White Heart. It really yes, was, right? It, was, it really was a glorious weekend in the yeah. northwest corner, and I hope everybody did well, because they certainly all worked very hard. You know, it rained a little in the morning on Sunday, uh, but other than that, uh, it would, turned out to be a beautiful weekend yes, for everybody. Yes, so yeah, it was gorgeous, and... We started off last week in asphalt. Uh, we had the huge turnout yep. for the hearing, uh, planning and zoning hearing in Canaan on uh, the uh, amendment to the regs to ban asphalt, and uh, it did pass. Um, I will tell you, I was a little upset with some of the reaction of the audience. They got a little nasty when the lawyer got up to speak, a uh, Metcalf lawyer, and there were uh, name calling and. and shouting and uh it bothered me to no end i mean it's okay to have your opinions but but there's just no need for rudeness and uh um that will probably the lawyers claim that you know there were a lot of mistakes made and i would assume that it's going to end up in court it's going to end up in court there's no doubt about it and and i i give a hundred a hundred and fifty percent uh to these people who volunteer to go on these boards because Mm -hmm. you know what these aren't. It's not like the old planning boards of twenty years ago. 
uh, you go into something like this, and you know that you're going to face lawyers. You know you're going to face lawyers that know everything about the law, the new law, and you're on the planning board. You're volunteering your time. Uh, I, I give them credit. It's a, it's a tough job. It's mm. not an easy job. It, really it, is, it is. It is. And, uh, but, but again, uh, the tone of things... People have got, have got to tone it down. That's exactly right. Uh, I, I just... Uh, and in my long career as an old reporter, I have seen the change in the tones of uh, some of these meetings. You know, you can agree to disagree, but you don't have to be nasty. Yep. And uh, I just came away from there disturbed. Um, and then the following day, we went over to the court. I hadn't been there. Uh, same same case, uh, different issue, uh, to the new court in Torrington to hear the um, appeal of Metcalf because um, of the, uh, the, the uh, order that the, he's got a, a, an application in to put up an asphalt plant, yeah. and uh, so that's in court. And that uh, judge will be making a determination on that, he said, in a timely manner. So as I say, I was um, my feet were stuck in asphalt for the beginning of the week. Um, and then we had um, uh, lots of other things going on, um, and ending the week at two art shows for the kids, which were lovely. Uh, Standard Space down the street from you guys. The Region at 1 the, Art uh, Show. Region 1 Art Show, which really is sweet. And... Uh, then over at the blue and gold at the white was for the high school kids. And, again, the talent just blows my mind of these young people. So, um, yeah. uh, the blue and gold gives out uh, uh, prizes and uh, awards. And so uh, and Tino and Susan Galuzzo really do a nice job. And whatever sold, 80% goes to the student, 20% yep. goes to the high school arts program. Which is great. The white That's gallery perfect. makes nothing on this deal. No, he, he Nothing makes. at all. Nothing, he said. Just yeah, like we, this. And for your math, they get 80, the, uh, the kids get 80, the school gets 20, and we get the rest. And just Figure like, out the math. <laughs> just like Standard Space and Sharon, they give up the space, they set up the show, and they and, and it's and it's great. It's it just is. a great recognition for the kids and the students. It's wonderful, and we're very lucky to have those generous art dealers. Uh, All right. Okay, looking ahead. We've got Sharon Board, of, uh, Sharon Board of Selectmen today with their special meeting. No, oh, do they? Okay, I was going to ask you because I'm sort of uh, we'll have Brent, out of the we'll, loop a little bit We'll here. have Brent on that. And, and then we've oh, got good. the Salisbury okay. Board of Education is meeting. Is that theirs tonight, too? Okay. And we'll have cameras at that. Wonderful. Salisbury okay. Planning and Zoning, I'm not sure we'll have that meets tonight. Mm-hmm. So okay. t- tonight's a busy night, so actually, for So it is a busy meetings. night, yeah. Um, okay. uh, Sharon Selectman, is that... It, it, the, what, Sharon's selectman meeting is uh, there's a, an act on a request to use the town roads for the tour of the Litchfield Hills. Oh, yes. Then they're going to have an executive session. They're going to conduct interviews for a road crew member uh-huh. and then have a discussion and decision on the new road crew member. Gotcha. Oh, so that's okay. today. What time is that, Marshall? Uh, that starts at 4 o'clock. Okay. All righty. And, the big, the and big, then tomorrow we have the science fair at the high school, which is incredible, um, at the um, Mahoney Hewitt Center. And the kids do these projects. You know, when I did projects, they were weather vanes and, you know, volcanoes. Uh, not not like that anymore. These kids really have deep uh, understanding of what their topics are and it's way above my head. I'm glad I'm not judging. But it's very interesting. Um, so that's at tomorrow morning at the high school. And then tomorrow, uh, the next day, we've got the FFA kids yep. uh, putting on their open house um, and bringing the young kids in to uh, see the animals and all the projects they do. That's um, Wednesday morn, morn, uh, Tuesday morning and Wednesday morning. Yeah, and they, Wednesday. Do, they do a morning and an afternoon session. I think it's, no, I'm sorry, oh. it's Wednesday and Thursday. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. And then we have career day at Salisbury Central on Friday, and... On Saturday, the op- the uh, ribbon cutting for the Bend project in Cornwall at two o'clock. Um, that's gonna, and they're gonna have. Uh, it's gonna be interesting. Uh, they're gonna open it up, and if you've seen that space, it's really fabulous. They put a parking lot in and a boat ramp, and it's gonna make it easier for emergency personnel to get into the river. And they fixed it all up and providing parking and stuff down there. So, and that was funds from GE used to put that in. All right. So, um, I still think we're going to be busy. And tomorrow is election day in New York for all the schools, all the propositions and all the all the budgets oh, go for oh voting in New York State tomorrow. <laughs> so you I yeah, 
you're so, at crossing the border. It's 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 a busy week around here. It is. And then, um, well, we have obviously Memorial Day oh. on the 26th. Yeah. That's my nice. favorite day when I don't know where I'm going. We and uh, Audubon has its... Um, Raptors and Riesling. Ra- Riesling, yes. And uh, on Sunday. that's always a lovely event. So it goes on and on. All right, but, Ruth. Uh, it's good for us. Well, red, white, and blue sneakers for you this week. Okay, okay. very good. <laughs> okay. Have a good week, guys. Take Thank care. You. Thanks. Take care. Bye-bye. Ruth Epstein from the Republican American. You can find her stories at rep-am.com or in the paper, or you can find Ruth right here at Robin Hood Radio.